Hi guys, today I have a tutorial showing you how to do a fake sunset. I'm only going to be using Photoshop for this because although you can sort of do it on Lightroom it looks a bit too obvious so I'll show you a nice easy way to do it today and it takes about two minutes so it's really easy. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure your color is set to white and select your brush and you want like a decent size so as you can see this is on 1450 roughly and it's quite a good size. If it's too big it's a bit too eye-catching and it doesn't really look good and if it's too small it just looks a bit stupid so find a nice average size and what you want to do now is just create a new layer. Um, you don't want to start doing it on this layer because you'll see later it will mess up all of the colors within the picture so make sure you create a blank layer and then in the center of your screen just tap once on 100% opacity. Make sure the feather, the hardness is all the way down on zero as well and you'll get this nice little glow effect. What you want to do now is just press Control J or Command J on your keyboard just to duplicate the layer and the glow will get even bigger. Press Command T or Control T on your keyboard on the second duplicated layer and if you hold Shift and Alt at the same time you can drag it out and it will stay to scale like that. And you just want to find a nice decent size that would look quite realistic. So for me it will be about there and just press Enter. And once you've found the size that you want to work with, just select both of the layers and go to Linear Dodge Add as the blending mode. I'm not too sure exactly what it does, but I've just found that it looks the nicest, especially if you're putting the sun behind objects like, as you can see I've got the bridge here, if I move it behind the bridge it will look pretty realistic. So now that you've done that, you just want to go down here and add a new hue and saturation layer. And then if you press Colorize, it will look a bit weird at first, but just up the saturation and find like a nice orange or yellow to replicate the sun. That's maybe a bit too colourful, so turn it down a little bit. Um, for this photo it's evening, so I want to get like a nice orange, yellow sun, like a nice little mix in between. So maybe, maybe this sort of orange. And then if you press Alt on your keyboard and then just click between the two layers the hue and saturation will only apply to the glow that we made. Um, you can't see anything yet so what you need to do is play with the lightness now. It's attached to that layer so whatever you change will only affect that layer. So if I drag this down a little bit you can see it starts to go into a nice sun effect. And then if you just duplicate the hue and saturation layer and drag it above the other layer that you haven't touched yet and do the exact same thing, just press ALT and click between the two layers. Just want to mess with the lightness again. So there you can see a nice sort of evening sun effect. But that is not where you want to put it, so just click CTRL and click on all of these layers so you can move all of them at once. And just find where you want to put the sun. If I put it there you can't really see it, so I'm going to drag it down a little bit to make it look like a sunset. So I think there's pretty nice, you get like a nice warm effect off of the sun. And just to make it stand out a little bit more, you can play with the, the colour. If you just double click the hue and saturation layer, you can mess with the saturation and find like a nice deep orange just to make it look really nice. I think that looks good to me. So if I just merge these together, you can see that was before and that was after. Feel free to leave some more tutorial suggestions, I'm still pretty new at this whole tutorial thing so I'm not sure how they're actually coming out but hopefully they help. And if you have any questions just leave a comment and tag me in some of your edits on Instagram.